Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here with week seven of Drills and Chills. And Drills and Chills, you guys, if you're new, is a diamond painting and crafting community event that centers around all things fall and Halloween. And uh, we are about a month and a half into it. Actually, more than that, we're coming up on the end of it already. And uh, we've been doing weekly giveaways and we have an incredible set of grand prizes that we're giving away, including 10 $250 gift cards to 10 different winners for Diamond Art Club and uh, two giant prize packs from small shops that include over $250 worth of goodies each. So if you have not entered, for the grand prize already be sure that you fill out the grand prize form and uh, we will be drawing those winners after the event ends on halloween uh, the event ends on halloween we're not drawing the winners you know immediately that that exact second but uh, we'll announce those winners in the first week or two of november and are really excited to give away all of these amazing prizes a huge thank you um, i'm going to say it every single week because i mean it sincerely that uh, a huge thank you to all of our sponsors who have made this event possible and have so generously donated for weekly giveaways and the grand prizes and have um uh, given, you know, created some on theme goods for drills and chills and had discount codes, all kinds of stuff that we've all been able to enjoy and take advantage of. And you guys, a lot of these shops are still running those discount codes to the end of the month or have these fun event theme goodies still in stock. So be sure to take a look in the description box of this video. You're going to see a number of helpful links, including uh, to the grand prize giveaway form. And there's also going to be a list of sponsors and that includes links to all of their shops, as well as um, anything special that they've donated for uh, or offered for for the event so uh happy shopping <laughs> uh, i'm gonna have some giveaway winners to announce in this video that i'll do towards the end and um also have some prizes to give away this week that you guys can enter for too so stay tuned for that what i'm going to be doing with you guys this week is a kind of a whip and chat uh, where we're going to go through some Halloween tag questions. So last month together we did a set of kind of fall and autumn themed questions and I found some fun Halloween themed ones to do, to do together this month. And I know Lindsay did a Halloween tag a couple weeks ago for her Drills and Chills video. So I thought, well, I'm still going to do one too because I think that they're fun. And I think I found some, some slightly different ones at least. So by the way, speaking of Lindsay, Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights is my co-host and she's doing weekly videos and weekly giveaways alongside me. So be sure that you go and check out her week seven video as well. Now, as far as what I am working on and with, um, I'll have everything uh, linked below. There's just check the description box. There's lots of good stuff down there. I actually sort of on a bit of a whim started a new cross stitch conversion project. If you don't know what that is and you want to find out more, I've got a playlist dedicated to various cross stitch conversion projects I've worked on. Um, and my time as a diamond painter and it kind of explains what it is, but just in short, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a cross stitch chart and instead of stitching it on fabric with thread, um, I'm turning it into a diamond painting. I'm reading the chart and placing diamonds on a blank canvas. Now, uh, this, this artwork is of, uh, this is licensed artwork. Uh, that is of Loki, the one and only God of Mischief from uh, Mandy Manzano created this artwork and licensed it to creatively stitching for cross stitch charts. And so I bought the cross stitch chart and then I sourced my materials, my my diamonds and my canvas from Jada Gem Shop, who's one of our sponsors. And I actually paid for her kit up service. And these are the storage containers I picked. They're the these little like one by one uh, storage containers. They come out like individually and they're pre-labeled and everything, so I didn't have to do the kitting up. Of course, she charges for her kitting up service, but I thought I would, you know, I'd try it out and see see what I thought. So um, I, I started this a couple of days ago and it's been going really fast. It's been a lot of fun. I'm using the Pattern Keeper app on a Fire tablet from Amazon. Um, it's okay that I'm showing you just a really small amount, amount of this chart, but just FYI, if you're new, um, you aren't supposed to show like a whole cross stitch chart on camera because it's copyrighted material. As far as accessories, just really quickly, I have this pen from Bistro Blanks. These are all accessories from our sponsors. The pen is from Bistro Blanks. So cute. The tray is uh, the event tray from Bijou Bliss. So cute. So pretty. I love the filament on this one. And then I'm going to be using uh, Patty Wax in the scent Pumpkin King from uh, Patty Wax in my single placer. And then I already have my multi-placer loaded up with Randa's Crafty Corner Putty. So 
Um, let me grab a color and get that into my tray and we'll get started with some of these fun Halloween questions. Feel free if there's any that you really love and think is fun. If you want to answer any of them in the comment section, you're welcome to. Um, these are these are fun. We're going to start off actually with some would you rather questions. <laughs> these were kind of entertaining to me. Uh, so I thought these would be fun to go through together. Um, <clears throat> so first, uh, would you rather, which by the way, I'll link to this. I've had this asked before. I'll link to these tag questions where I got them from in the description box too. And if you're a creator or anything like that, you are absolutely more than welcome to go ahead and use these same tag questions and do a tag. Um, how about it? It's that time of year. <laughs> so would you rather dress up as a classic monster, like a vampire or a clown or a ghost, uh, or a specific movie character or pop culture reference? So Sorry, my neighbors are being very loud. Um, I am one that I think it's fun to dress up as a movie character or pop culture reference. I don't know why I think that's that's entertaining. Uh, plus that keeps it interesting from year to year. Um, but I don't, you know, I don't do a ton of dressing up now that I have little ones. So that's probably, I mean, that's probably what I would say is I think that it's fun to dress up like as a reference, especially something that's like a little bit more of a vague reference. Um, I think that can be really fun. Um, next question is, would you rather attend a pumpkin carving workshop or a fun Halloween party. Um, as someone that <laughs> I like classes and stuff cause I'm a weirdo. I don't know a workshop maybe. And then there's like, there's less small talk. I'm not a, <laughs> a huge fan of small talk. <laughs> uh, maybe a pumpkin carving workshop. Maybe they could tell me how to do a better job instead of like struggling just to cut out triangles from, from a pumpkin. Um, that's probably what I would go with. <laughs> uh, would you rather watch Twilight or Coraline? Is it supposed to say that both of these would be like bad choices? Because I don't, I don't know. Um, I, okay, weirdly, I would probably have to go with Twilight on this one and not necessarily because I'm a huge Twilight fan, but because movies like Cor Coraline creep me out and I am such a huge chicken. Like that would not... That would not be it for me. I like I, I don't think I've actually ever even watched Coraline all the way through just because in concept it's it's way, 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 way too creepy for me. I don't think I could do it. Um so I think I'd go with Twilight. I mean it's like a it's a cheesy popcorn film, and I know you Twilight stands don't come for me, okay? I'm not saying anything. If you love it, I love it for you, is 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 what we're gonna go with. <laughs> um let me just place this. I'm gonna lose my place. I decided to take on a challenge by doing a conversion project and attempt to read would you rather questions at the same time because I'm trying to count and not lose my spot with a bunch of similar colors and talk and look up at the same time. Okay, uh, number five, would you rather, I know I skipped the first one because the first question was kind of weird. It was, would you rather spend Halloween in a haunted house or go on a ghost bus tour? I don't know why I skipped that one. I was like, that seems like a weird one to start out with. I guess I can answer it. Um, I think I guess I'd rather go on the ghost bus tour because I'm too chicken to go in a haunted house. I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I want to, what's a ghost bus tour? Is that where they take you around and, and, and tell you like, oh, this is an area that's haunted or is it like, oh, this bus is haunted and you're doing a tour of it. I don't understand. Is there something with haunted house culture that I am missing here? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, Okay. We're, anyway, so that was the, that was technically question number one. So I was just explaining. Okay, some of you were keeping count. And we're like, you said question number five, but you've only done four questions. Um, so actual question number five. This one was entertaining to me. Would you rather eat candy corn or Tootsie Rolls? This is what I need to know. Who likes candy corn? Who thinks that eating just wax is yummy? I don't. I don't understand. There's this whole movement towards eating candy corn mixed in with peanuts, which I did try it once and I was like, this is just like, no, it's still gross. I don't understand. <laughs> um, I I don't understand the candy corn love. I, I and I'm not just bandwagon hating on candy corn. I just I don't I don't get it. Uh, there have occasionally been some candy corn flavors like there's chocolate candy corn and stuff that isn't isn't half bad but it's still the texture it's not something that i enjoy eating i don't, I don't get it <laughs> um so tootsie rolls tootsie rolls are delicious what is what's not to like about tootsie rolls 
Uh, definitely Tootsie Rolls. Or like the, the even like the fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls. That's, that's where it's at. Um, let me just place these other two in this color. And then I think I will not be able to lose my spot. Okay. Um, I think I got everything in that color. Okay. So I can clear these colors. If you want to find out more, like I said, about cross stitch conversions and how, you know, I work on them or shortcuts I found or my experience working on them, I'll have that, I'll, I'll have that playlist below. It is definitely a unique kind of challenge. It's a different kind of diamond painting experience. <laughs> uh, so next up, would you rather watch Beetlejuice or Ghostbusters? Um, probably Ghostbusters, like classic Ghostbusters. Like, yeah, classic, not the remake. Uh, probably that. Not like in love necessarily with either of them, but I don't have a, I don't have a problem with either of them either. Um, would you rather uh, carve a jack-o'-lantern or bob for apples? Do apple bobbing? Mm, good question. Um, well, I just, I, there's no graceful way that I could do apple bobbing. So I would probably have to say carve a jack-o'-lantern. I don't, I don't. Yeah, no, I think that's what I have to say. Hold on, 839, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I'd say carve a jack-o'-lantern, though I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm not good at it at all. Like I said, I struggle to cut out the triangles for the eyes. <laughs> okay, so uh, question number eight. Would you rather eat sugar-free candy or candy left over from last year? I love that it's put these in like the same ballpark with each other. Like these are both gross options. What? what is what would you rather do um <laughs> i don't know i think i'd have to go with the sugar-free candy though candy left over from last year especially like chocolate's not gonna stay good that long um like i don't i'm not looking to get sick uh off off of, of year old candy if it's like a jolly rancher or something like those are those are good forever right but I don't, I don't know. I'd probably, I'd probably have to stomach the sugar free candy. Um, neither of these sound like fun though, but I think that's kind of the goal of this particular question. <laughs> um, question number nine, would you rather read a Stephen King novel or watch a Stephen King film? Neither. <laughs> um, probably read. Cause then it's, I feel like that's a little bit less creepy than watching a movie. I'd, I'd probably be able to stomach reading it better than than watching a scary movie. But like I said, like I said earlier, I'm just a huge, huge wimp when it comes to scary things. So that's you probably what I go with. Redemption. Yeah, that's true. Has, what would you rather do? Would you rather read a Stephen King novel or watch a Stephen King movie? Uh, novel, actually. Novel? What's your, would you have a favorite? Uh, Carrie. Carrie. Yeah, never I, read I'm it. spotty on my Stephen King, but uh, that that was the first one I read and I loved it and hmm. still love it. Short. I don't know if I've ever even actually, to be fair, read a Stephen King novel. Yeah, most of them are pretty creepy. <laughs> I'm I'm just I can't do it. I can't do it. By the way, that's my husband Adam. Hi. <laughs> came to came to jump in. We're filming while our kids. I'm filming while the kids are at school and he's he's working from home today. So. Um, Anyway, so the last of the would you rather questions uh, is, would you rather decorate Halloween cookies or make spooky cocktails? Well, it depends, obviously. I was gonna say, well, do I have my kids with me? Obviously my kids are not making spooky cocktails with me. I meant more what's what's the context. If I'm like just solo and ha if I'm like having fun with friends at a party or whatever, you know what? No, I'd rather decorate Halloween cookies either way. Um, I've actually done some really fun cookie decorating classes and uh, like the ones that have almost the ASMR visual of where you get to, you're like flooding the icing on top of the cookie. Uh, and I love watching those videos and I, I love doing the classes and getting to actually do those cookies, decorate those cookies myself. Uh, so no, either way I would have to say decorating Halloween cookies would probably be my, my choice between these two would you rathers. So uh, that was a fun set of would you rather questions. And then I have some just sort of more standard um, uh, Halloween 
tag questions that's more just generally about Halloween. And I know that you've probably, you know, we probably did these for drills and chills in past years too. And some of these are probably in Lindsay's video a couple weeks ago, but I still, I can't help it. I enjoy answering these questions and thinking on them and see if they change from year to year at all. Uh, it's fun. It's fun to me anyway. So uh, the first question on here is, uh, what's your favorite Halloween tradition? And my favorite Halloween tradition, especially now that I have kids, is taking them to the pumpkin patch. And we have one that we've gone to every year since my, um, since my oldest was a baby. And <clears throat> so we have a lot of the same pictures in the same spots year over year. And it's just, it's, I'm such a sucker for getting to do those kind of side by side pictures of, oh, here are these pictures of, you know, my oldest when he was, you know, <laughs> six months old. And now that he's eight, like, it's just gonna be really cute to see those and very stereotypical to see those pictures side by side. And we go, my mom comes into town um, in October every year. My parents live out of state and, so she goes with us and it's just, it's a really fun time. I really enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to it this year too. So we'll probably go next weekend. Um, so that's probably my favorite Halloween tradition. All right, so the next question is, do you have any fond Halloween memories from your childhood? Um, probably just doing like fun trick or treating in our in our town um there was kind of just really one kind of main street that everyone in our in our small town trick-or-treated on together and so that and my mom homemade a lot of my costumes like she was um like she would stitch them like sew them so uh it was fun i would sometimes just kind of present her with like an idea of what i wanted to be for halloween and she would she would create it and I wish I were that talented. <laughs> so probably that. And then number three, what's your go-to Halloween candy? Oh, that's a good question. Um, did I miss or did I misplace? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Um, go-to Halloween candy. I am a big fan of Kit Kats and Swedish Fish. So probably, probably those are my favorites. Um, yeah, that, that would be mine. That would be mine. Uh, what, uh, oh, number four, have you ever DIY'd a Halloween costume? Um, I sort of, sort of. I have sometimes pieced together some pieces of uh, to make a Halloween costume. I know there was one year, um, I think the first year Adam and I, yeah, the first Halloween Adam and I were married. Um, we went to Goodwill and sourced stuff to go as as characters from The Office. I went as Pam and he went as Dwight. I think it was, I think he went as Dwight and had like the mug and everything. Not Dwight, um, Michael, <laughs> Michael Scott. Um, and had like the world's best boss mug and stuff. So I think that was what we did. Otherwise I mostly, I don't necessarily DIY them. We did, <sighs> I think this is going to be a later question. Yeah, it'll, I'll, I'll, there's another one that I'll talk about in one of the later tag questions. There's obviously some that got I got mixed up in here. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Um, number five. Have you ever been to a haunted house and what was it like? Well, not really, <laughs> because I just am. I, I don't like them. I don't like the the being scared I'm just I'm missing that gene where I enjoy that kind of thing so I mean there are once or twice like really minor ones as a kid like they I remember again small town uh they turned our um the fire department turned like the firehouse into a haunted house for trick-or-treat and I remember walking through that and even as a kid like that spooked me a bit so um yeah not a fan <laughs> Uh, number six, what is your favorite Halloween movie? Uh, I don't, I don't really have one. I know a lot of people, like last time, some people came here like, what about Hocus Pocus? I have a confession. It's not that I haven't seen Hocus Pocus. It's that it's been years since I've seen it. And I just don't remember that much about it. Um, <clears throat> I remember liking it fine as a kid, but you know, um, 
it's not like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite movie. I know. I'm so sorry if I just lost a bunch of a bunch of you guys once you clicked away or unsubscribed because I said that. Uh, the closest thing I can come to is that like Halloween TV shows, the kind of Halloween adjacent is I do love Supernatural. And that's about the, the closest thing I'll get to scary things. <laughs> Number seven, what was your best attempt at pumpkin carving? Well, it was a team effort. Uh, there was a year, I mean, it's probably 10 years ago now. We haven't done a lot of pumpkin carving since having having kids. We used to have a host a Halloween party with our, our friends uh, every year, pre-kids. And it just, it gets harder when you have kids. But uh, we did do pumpkin carving some years. I didn't always participate. But there was one year when um, Adam and I team effort did a bat signal that we carved into a pumpkin. And that was fun. That was fun. But I credit Adam for being able to do it so well. So there was that. We did that one year. Um, number eight, what's the worst horror movie you have ever seen? Well, I, this is just a big old N.A. for me because I don't watch horror movies. I don't know that I've ever seen like a bad horror movie because I just don't watch them. So I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can't. you watch a horror movie or two. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that you you just... I know I made you watch a couple of movies that I did not know were going to be... Scary. As scarring as they were. <laughs> like what? I don't remember. Hold on. We've blocked it out. Um, I don't watch a lot either, but I, I, in college I watch more stuff. More scary movies? No. It's not for me. Um... I was gonna say the sixth sense freaked me out like that, that might be spooked me out. that's not like a terrible movie that's right that's more like a that's a, well, it's a good movie classic yeah but it scared me because i yeah no that's just gonna be the theme of this this set of tag questions is katie is, is everybody a wimp you horror movie questions? No, no, no 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 i pulled up a list of tag questions to go through a list of questions to go through and ask that like people can answer along if they want or it's just sort of, it's just fun to talk about. It's topical. <laughs> about to say, they're going to be horribly disappointed. <laughs> no, it's not. You a horror movie this is not anyone else. This is, the, really, this is on me. I, I'm the one that picked these questions, so. Um, you can tell them about Young Frankenstein. That was hysterical. That was, you, you should just tell from your perspective. I mean, it's not there's much an, to tell. not much to tell. I was it was with my, so I'm going to say that I was in a sorority in college, but it wasn't that kind of sorority. It was... <laughs> It was in the school of music. It was a school of music sorority. Uh, for, um, and it wasn't like we had a house or anything like that. But we, for one of our socials, we were getting together on Halloween and going to be watching a movie. And uh, I didn't I didn't pick it, but it was like, oh, we're going to be watching Young Frankenstein. And I didn't know anything about it. And I, so I, I texted Adam, who I was, we weren't even dating yet, I don't think. Uh, but we were talking. We were talking. And I, we were in the talking stage. We were in the talking stage. And I asked him, um, I think that was that year. It might have been the next year. I was like, is this is Young Frankenstein a scary movie? <laughs> and he was like, no. Now, if you didn't know, Young Frankenstein is a it's a Mel Brooks movie. And it's it's like a comedy. <laughs> so he was like, no, it's not scary. I was like, I don't understand. And then I understood after I saw it. So <laughs> that was fun. Um, I think Adam was pretty amused by that. I was. This was before I had learned more about just like movies and gotten more immersed in film culture in general, which is all, of course, thanks to thanks to Adam as well. So <laughs> anyway, uh, the next question. This is one I was talking about earlier that I said I, I would mention. Uh, this one is: Have you ever been a part of a group or a couple costume? I've been a part of a few, but this kind of ties back into the DIYing question. And a few of us, um, man, this, yeah, this had to have been 10 years ago. We went in together and we did a Captain Planet costume together. And <clears throat> one of the guys in our group, like, basically went shirtless and painted his whole upper body blue. And did he dye his hair green too? Like, what's Cap whatever Captain Planet's hair color was, he dyed it that. And <laughs> the rest of us, we did kind of DIY our shirts. Like, we just did like we got plain shirts and did like the iron on of like the Captain Planet logo and wore like the you know vests that we goodwilled or whatever. <laughs> and there's a and had ring pops for our rings. And there's a there's a great picture out there of of us um, in that in that group costume. And then. 
there I've done some cute we've done some cute family costumes the year that I was pregnant with my youngest we went as s'mores and I so Adam and I were both graham crackers and I did a cutout in one of the graham crackers and was wearing a white shirt under it so that like my pregnant belly was the marshmallow and we put Connor in um like a, a long sleeve like brown shirt that said Hershey's on it so he was like the Hershey chocolate so we did that we did a Doctor Who themed so fam- Star Wars? oh Star Wars we did a gender bended Star Wars um where I went as Han Solo Adam dressed up as Leia and not bikini Leia not bikini Leia <laughs> The original cinnamon bun hair. <laughs> cinnamon Leia. bun hair, Leia. Well, the fun part is we didn't tell anybody we gender bent. No, we didn't tell anybody we, told we were them gen- our costumes, and then they showed up to our party. And we, we were gender bent. They thought. Yeah. Well, and our dog was Darth Darth Vader, and did we have? Oh yeah, Connor was Chewbacca. He was Chewy. We had a really cute set of Chewy pajamas that we put Connor in. This is before my youngest was born, obviously. So that was fun. We did a Doctor Who themed one. Um, our dog um, wa- it was named, he passed away, uh, it was named Tenant. And so we put like a little tie on him and he was the 10th Doctor and I was the TARDIS. And Adam, what, what I was did the ninth doctor. you were the ninth Doctor? And we didn't have, we didn't have kids yet. Um, did I announce I was pregnant at that party with my oldest? Anyway, I, I think I did. I think I did. I, I think we did. I don't remember. Anyway, so we've done a few different group costumes. And this year we're thinking of doing, um, well, we have the kids' costumes. Um, my oldest is going to be Spider-Man. My youngest is going to be the Hulk. And I'm thinking of going as Sylvie from Loki. And I think I'm just going to like wear a green shirt and get like the broken uh, horn, you know, headband. And Adam, what did you decide on? I haven't decided on anything yet. He hasn't decided on anything. But something MCU probably. But we got time. We got some time, right? Oh, so I was thinking Nick Fury. Oh, Nick Fury. That's right. Do the eye patch because he's and he's bald. So um, that's kind of our our thought for this year. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, we like the group and couple costume thing. It's fun. And then number 10, have you ever dressed up your pet for Halloween? Well, yes, we did. I just answered that one. When we had our, our dog, uh, we dressed him up. We have never attempted to dress our cats up, and we never will. Although, actually, Skip, our cat that we got last Christmas, he is about the only cat I've ever met that I've gone, mm, he might tolerate something like that. But I, I don't think we're going to try. I think that would be a bad idea. It's not like we're taking him trick-or-treating with us anyway. So it's just as well. But... <clears throat> Anyway, so that's kind of the end of the list of would you rathers and the tag questions and a little fun contribution from my my husband in the peanut gallery too. So uh, feel free to let me know you guys if there's any of those that you wanted to answer. Oh, oh, that was almost really bad. I almost like dropped a whole container of diamonds. It was stayed closed. Um, Feel free to answer any that that caught your caught your ear uh, in the comments below. And I'll try to remember to link to the place where I pulled these from. But now I'm going to go ahead and get into um, giveaway stuff. So first, I have some announcements for last week's giveaways. Let me pull that up really quick. So last week, I yeah, that's right. Okay, so last week I was giving away a $50 Diamond Art Club gift card and a Halloween kit from Diamond Art Club as well. And so I have those two winners to announce, then I'm gonna tell you what I'm giving away for week seven and how to enter for that. So first, let me announce the winners for um, week six last week. And so first, the winner of the $50 Diamond Art Club gift card is gonna be, take a look at the screen, congratulations. And uh, keep an eye on your email. I will try to get in touch with you soon with that. And then the winner of the Diamond Art Club Halloween kit is gonna be, take a look at the screen. Congratulations. So uh, congrats to both our winners. And like I said, I will try to be in touch really soon with more info on that. So next thing that I need to do is to tell you a little bit about what I am giving away this week for week seven. And this week I have five different prizes to give away from small shop owners. And these have all been donated. So a huge thank you to our sponsors 
and small shop owners for donating so generously for the event. And here's what I'm giving away this week. So first I have a gift card from Enablers Outpost and Enablers Outpost has gorgeous diamond painting pens and accessories and licensed diamond painting kits. I've shown them a couple of times during the event with um, unboxings and stuff like that. So. Uh, definitely take a look if you have not browsed their shop. I, I, they do custom orders as well. I am working on some pen customs with them and I'm excited to get get those in soon to share with you all. So gift card from them is prize number one. Prize number two is going to be a set of Halloween coasters from Distracted by Diamonds. These are really cute. I unboxed these on my channel early in the event and uh, these are really beginner friendly and Distracted by Diamonds has licensed diamond painting kits. They also, Distracted by Diamonds is the same owner, as the same shop as Patty Wax, which is what I'm using in my single placer today. And uh, they have licensed diamond paintings, accessories, all kinds of stuff over on Etsy. So um, I will be giving away one of these cute coaster sets for you guys uh, this week. <clears throat> And then next up, I have a $25 gift card for Crystal Canvas Art Designs. And I actually worked on one of Crystal Canvas's uh, kits for the event this year. It was the cute pumpkin kitty latte kit, which you would have seen in my um, kind of halfway point sort of check-in where I was showing you my projects that I've worked on. Uh, so they have licensed images and are really unique in that they have a lot of these full crystal diamond painting kits. And it's, if you haven't tried one before, I recommend getting a smaller size one to test out and just sort of see what the experience of working on one is like. I think that they're a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, we have a $25 gift card from them to give away. And then the fourth prize I have to give away is a $10 gift card from uh, Crafts with Crashly. And Crafts with Crashly uh, made some, uh, event themed release paper which i don't have any handy but i do have some of their other release paper it, it has um, this kind of print on it and i use this uh sometimes when i don't want to use the plastic cover i use it with my conversions when i open up a new row uh, and so they've donated a ten dollar gift card uh, to give away and they have a lot of fun seasonal release paper and other fun release paper you could theme with your your diamond paintings too so yay and then last but not least i have a a tray set from doggone diamond painting trays and i just yesterday got in a package from them i have not tried out their trays yet but i'm very very excited too and uh so i'll have popped a picture up on the screen so that you can see at least what their trays look like and what they have in the shop but uh, they so generously donated the set for me to give away this week and I will certainly be unboxing and trying out their trays in a video soon uh, even though it won't be you know, during the actual event I hope that you'll stick around and see and I can kind of share with you what I love about their trays so those are the five prizes that I have to give away this week and so I'm going to tell you how to enter now you're going to have a little bit of deja vu here there are going to be two steps as always so the very first step is going to be if you have not already during the course of the event filled out the weekly giveaway form please go ahead and do so um, if you have filled it out for a past week or if you have filled it out for one of Lindsay's giveaway videos you do not need to fill it out again it's the same form it goes you know it's all just one big pool and it basically is just how we're collecting your information so there it's don't worry if you fill it out more than once you're not in trouble or anything like that uh just let us know if your address has changed that's really the main thing because we'll use that for your mailing info to get your prizes sent out to you if you win so that is step number one is to fill that out if you haven't already and keep in mind that that is a different form than the grand prize drawing form so there is that and then the second step is if you could leave a comment on this video letting me know if you have a favorite Halloween tradition or thing that you love to do around Halloween. And if you if you don't celebrate Halloween or observe Halloween in some form at all, that's completely fine. Just let me know kind of if you have a fall related or autumn related tradition or something you really love about fall. But if it's something specific to Halloween, that would be really fun too. Now I wanna give you guys a quick disclaimer because Lindsay and I have unfortunately both had this happen on both of our videos during the event and it's such a bummer and we feel terrible but um, 
we have been having uh, people pre create fake accounts pretending to be us and responding to people's comments on videos saying, uh, you have won this giveaway. And then they'll, it, their account will say something about like, text this number. You guys, this is not us. This is never how we're going to get in touch with you. This is not how we announce who the winners are. The winners are always gonna be announced in these actual videos and we'll be contacting you um, directly with the with the contact information you provide in the weekly giveaway form. So uh, we really try to catch those as quickly as possible and delete them, but we know it's caused some confusion. And we're, we're really, really sorry that that has happened. And uh, thank you so much for letting us know when you guys do see that pop up and realize that, oh shoot, no, this is, this is not correct. So um, my apologies. That hasn't happened in past years, but has unfortunately been something we've been plagued by it this year but please don't do not include the words giveaway or prize in your comics we've set that to make sure that it's filtered out and um this giveaway is going to stay open through next thursday which is going to be october is that 26th i believe at 11 59 p.m pacific time and i'm going to announce the winners from this week seven giveaways in my week eight video on uh saturday the 28th so Best of luck to everyone, and I'm excited to announce those winners next week. So anyway, that wraps up week seven, and that was perfect timing, you guys. We just finished up this latest section and row here on my cross-stitch conversion, and here's where we're at. So we have this like swirl. It's right here. We're down here. We're making good progress. I saved the, yeah, the top for last. So uh, we are at, here's a fun feature on Pattern Keeper, by the way. Oh, nope. Flip back the other way, please. Okay, tells us how many we've stitched today and then the total number of stitches or diamonds placed and then the total percentage. So I'm almost at 19%. This is going so much faster than my other conversion project and I'm so happy. It's delightful. But anyway, you guys, uh, thank you so much for joining in on Drills and Chills. Be sure that you go check out Lindsay's Week 7 video and don't miss out on our last set of weekly giveaways that we're going to be doing next week in our Week 8 videos. And of course, don't forget to enter for the grand prize. Do that entry if you haven't already. So... I'm so sad that the end of the event is in sight, but I have had such an amazing time with all of you and can't wait to have at least one more week of, of weekly content for you guys. And uh, I'm still loving seeing all of your projects that you're working on on Instagram and in the Facebook group and that you emailed to me. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. Please subscribe if you wanna stay up to date with all the drills and chill stuff and other diamond painting content I put out. I tried to do a nice variety of unboxings and tutorials and small shop hauls, that sort of thing. And I'd love to have you here and uh, be sure you go check out Lindsay's channel at Emeralds and Fairy Lights as well. Have a day that is as amazing as you are and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.